What's up guys, Church back with another video, and today we're gonna get into looking how to clean your desk setup, your gaming setup, your office space, whatever it may be. And it can be kind of tricky, and I've kind of figured out a way to quickly do it, and it's like simplified. So let's get into it. So if you have a carpeted area, what you're gonna need to do, first of all, where you start, grab some baking soda, some Arm & Hammer, Hammer baking soda. Take this stuff, literally, you have to have a vacuum cleaner before you do this, make sure you got a good vacuum that can suck this stuff up. And just go along right in front of your desk space where you're using your chair a lot, and just sprinkle some of this along. And what this is gonna do is you're just gonna freshen everything up, you know what I mean? Really, it's just gonna freshen the area you're up. Cause your shoes are right here, your feet are right here. Well, not, Cause I take my shoes off when I come in, but a lot of people's shoes are right here and everything like that. But um, just sprinkle it all around like that and get it in the kind of corners or whatever. Just leave it there for a minute. So that, that part's done. Then what you're gonna wanna do is grab some type of duster pad. This, these are like the Swiffer sweeper pads that you put on like the uh, little thing to run around your house and just sweep everything up. Grab one of these things and just go along everywhere. Like literally just grab this and just go all across your desk, all up in here, all through here, up under the speaker stand, across the top of the speakers right here, across the top of the monitors, on top of this monitor over here, on top of this. So you can go ahead and wipe down your PC case if you want to. Wipe down your whole PC case with it. Get in the vents right here, get all on the little vents. Get on the vents on the side right here. And that's pretty much it. That's all you're gonna wanna do with this. And like, it's gonna clean everything up substantially. If you use one of these little Swiffer pads, this thing is incredible. Like, just going all around, like right there. And I, I did it in the take before. Just a little bit right there. Like, it's, it's crazy. The thing cleans up a lot of stuff. And another thing you're gonna wanna do this is, this is my secret weapon right here. Some 91% isopropyl alcohol paper towel. This is what I use to clean like 90% of the apartment with all the time. What you're gonna do, literally watch this. Your mouse, your keyboard are like the dirtiest things in the world. This is gonna pretty much sanitize everything, keep everything over there completely clean. I'll show you how to do it, watch this. Literally, our first thing you're gonna wanna do is if you, got, if you have a mouse mat like this, I have my cables drilled through the mouse mat so I can't even take my mouse mat off the thing. So what I usually do is I spin my mouse mat around like that and just all the big stuff off of it, like just knock all the cat hair and shit like that off of it, like that. Knock all that off like that. So that's pretty much the, the mouse pad's pretty much set right there. And then to clean your mouse pad, this is how you clean your mouse pad. Take take some isopropyl alcohol like, on your top of your mouse pad and you go across it like this. Just there you go, right there. And the isopropyl alcohol, you can get somewhere your keyboard, your mouse, whatever. It's just going to dry out so quick. It probably won't damage anything. Take some paper towels like this and just run across your, your mouse, mouse bag. Like this. And everything's clean. You can see right there. You can see like the dirt that comes out of it just from using that on there. And like the mouse pad is completely pretty much clean right now. So that's, that part's done right there. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna clean the keyboard and the mouse. So what you do with this, oh and another, another secret for the keyboard, Q-tips. Q-tips work great for cleaning your keyboard out. Literally just take these and just run straight across the keys right here. Just get all in the cracks right here, all in this. You get all in between your keys and everything like that. Clean all the dust out like this. You can see, like, just from doing that real quick, like, I saw all, like, a glob of dust on the end of that. And if you do that for a minute, you can literally clean that, your a whole keyboard for steam. Take, take this right here, a little bit like that, a little bit on the mouse. Or something. Again, it's probably not going to mess it up. If you do it the right way, come across here like this, clean all the way in here, clean the top of your mouse pad with the isopropyl alcohol, Keep everything down good. This is crazy, look at this. This is where like, I'm always gaming right here, like using the, look at that. Just wiping that off, off the mouse pad. Isn't that crazy, off the, off the mouse? I do this all the time too, dude. I guarantee you, if y'all do this and y'all never done it, it's gonna be disgusting. Clean all in there. So the keyboard's pretty much completely clean, the mouse is completely clean now, and now we're just gonna clean the desk. So what I'm gonna do now, same with this, and same with this, look at it, I cleaned the PC with this as well. Clean the front of the PC with this, slash this shit everywhere. All around, all over here, on this, on that, on this, on this, on this, on this. Move this out of the way. You can go ahead and clean everything off your desk if that helps, which usually does. Come over here with this right here. Get all up on the side. 
And with the plants, the plants usually have dust in them too, so just keep the plants and knock all the dust and shit out of them. So that's that. And get your paper towels, come over here with these, and just wipe all the uh, isopropyl alcohol up. And, it, and everything will be completely clean after that. Like it'll be shiny clean. You do that. Oh shit. Clean all along the lamp right here, all behind this lamp. This lamp gets so dirty because it's like white. All of the dust sticks to it. Clean the top of the lamp right here. Oh yeah, clean the top of this thing right here. Top of this. Isn't that crazy? Like the isopropyl alcohol is like the best for cleaning stuff. Clean all over here. And if you have any rings or anything on your table, you know, if you leave a drink or something, the isopropyl alcohol will take that ring right out. You know, all back here, like that, all behind here, all the dust and everything. You can even get up under your computer too. If you if you never clean under your computer, do that because there's a lot of dust that will collect under there, and you can get that out of the way before it gets sucked up into your PC. So that's that. Look at that. Just look at look at all how much dirt just came off of that. And y'all see the setup is pretty clean looking, but even beforehand, which is crazy. What is all this shit up here? Anyways. All right, another thing you're gonna need is this. This is an instant, this is just like lens cleaner, like for glasses and anything like that. And I got a lot of this stuff like one year for Christmas for some reason, but I use this to clean all the screens up here. I have it to like, check this out. I probably saw this in the last video, this tech kit right here. But I have, um, let's see, I think I have a bottle of it in here, yeah. Got a bottle right here, and then I got this. This is how I clean my screens, check this out. So I come over here, just turn off your screen real quick. Don't actually spray this shit on the screen, you guys. Literally, just take take a little microfiber cloth like this, like this little Ray-Ban one. Just spray this stuff like on, on the on this. You can, you can get this like substantially soaked, but you just don't want to spray it on the actual screen because it'll drip down into your monitor. You know what I mean? Y'all probably done that before if you put use Windex or anything. So what I do is I just come over here like this, start over here, and just just. It, you, you'd be so amazed at how much dust and shit actually collects on your monitor, man. This is incredible. Like, if you look at like a white background on your PC after a while of not cleaning this, you'll be like, holy shit, look at all that stuff, like all the little specs and everything. One day my cat jumped up here and spilled my damn coffee. My coffee launched from the floor all over the TV screen, all over the computer screens. It was terrible. I had to clean everything off. But this right here is the best way to do it though, because then you don't get, you don't have that shit dripping down into the bottom bar right here of your computer monitor. And I think a lot of them are designed to kind of handle that because they expect people to probably clean their shit, but still, it's probably not good to do it. Come up here, do the same thing with this one, clean all over. Like and it's crazy, man. It really is crazy how much this, this cleans everything up so well with these microfiber little cloths. That's the only way you need to clean your monitors. Don't use paper towels on your monitors or anything like that. Just use microfiber cloths. And that part's pretty much done right there. And that's pretty much it, guys. And like just for the baking soda on the ground, all I'll do is just vacuum that up and we'll be set. And that's that's clean setup right there. Everything's been cleaned. There's no dust on it. Everything's set, good to go. And it's smelling fresh. And that's how you clean a desk setup or a gaming setup right there in like, what, eight minutes. So this has been Chooch. If y'all like videos like this, little quick uh, how-to videos and stuff like that, throw it a thumbs up and I'll be sure to bring y'all some more. See you on the next one.